During the New England Patriots' week one loss to the Miami Dolphins, Damian Harris ran the ball 23 times. He racked up 100 yards on the ground. And though the Dolphins would stack up the box, he was still able to average 4.6 yards per carry. However, the only thing that most people remember about Harris's performance week one was that he fumbled the football on the 10-yard line with about 3 minutes and 20 seconds left in the fourth quarter while the New England Patriots were trailing the Dolphins by one point. And let's not forget, Harris wasn't the only one who fumbled last Sunday. Mac Jones, Jonu Smith, and rookie running back Ramondre Stevenson also fumbled during the mistake-filled game, but the only real memorable fumble was Harris essentially costing the Patriots the win. And losing the ball to lose the game didn't sit well with Harris or his coaches. One week into a 17-game season, it almost felt like Damian Harris may have had his season-defining moment, and it was a moment that he and the Patriots most definitely wanted to forget. And that was the build-up for this week's game against the New York Jets. And then Damian Harris went beast mode. He showed Patriot fans something that we hadn't seen since LeGarrette Blunt smashed his way through the Pittsburgh Steelers during the 2016 AFC Championship game. Damian Harris refused to let a fumble be his defining moment of the season. Early in the third quarter, Damian Harris took a handoff from Mac Jones at the Jets' 26-yard line. After shedding two tackles, Harris brought the ball to the 3-yard line where it looked like he would fall short of the touchdown. But with two Jets defenders draped on him trying to take him to the ground and another defender viciously trying to punch at the football, trying to force it out of Harris's hands, Harris kept turning his legs and with a final push from his teammates, including quarterback Mac Jones, Damian Harris fell into the end zone. There was no pre-planned celebration, no ball spike. Harris threw the ball to the side, leaped up, and screamed to the side into the sky in what looked like a guy who just felt the weight of the world lift off his shoulders. The fumble at the 10-yard line now behind him, Damian Harris had his season-defining moment, and his Patriots teammates were there to celebrate with him and enjoy that moment. A shot of the sideline showed a smile on the face of Patriots running back coach Ivan Fears, who was very critical of both Harris and Stevenson leading, leading into the Jets game. And it looked like at that moment, everything had been forgiven. Compared to last week, Harris's overall game wasn't that great. He ran the ball 16 times for 69 yards and only averaged 3.9 yards per carry. But just like last week when Harris thought he had that season-defining moment, the stat sheet doesn't matter. On Sunday, against the New York Jets, when the Patriots were trying to add to their 10-point lead and put the weight of the world on Jets quarterback Zach Wilson's shoulders, Damian Harris willed his team into the end zone with a huge 26-yard touchdown run while erasing the failure of last week from everybody's mind. <laughs> 